Hello, I'm Jennifer with Jennifer Decorates, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous orchid arrangement. So stay tuned. So you don't have to choose a freesia, you just want a flower that's going to stand up kind of straight and tall and give that height because my orchids are going to kind of pour out around each side of the bowl. Alright, so this is the orchid I chose for our biggest bang for the buck. Um, it has a little bit of yellow in it. So the third flower is a smaller orchid, it has a little bit more yellow in it but I love that the yellow and white kind of make the flower look really real rather than if it was all white. The last thing I'm gonna use are these orchid leaves with what's supposed to look like um, the roots. And these I'm gonna place around the base of the orchid and kind of settle everything in. So I'm gonna set a piece of styrofoam into this bowl and I was lucky to get this big of one because that actually what is actually what the bowl came in. Now I'm gonna add some hot glue on all four of the corners and then set it in the bowl. I have had people ask me would hot glue hurt or harm a ceramic bowl and it does not. It holds it, but when you're ready to take it off, it doesn't do any damage at all. So how I determine the height, I measure the bowl. So this bowl is about eight inches high. And so I want to double my flower height. Now that's not, you don't have to make it perfect. So this one would be 16 high because my bowl is eight inches. If you want 18 or if you want a little less, I probably wouldn't go a little less, but it'd be okay to go a little more. What you don't want to do is have a huge, what I call a fat bottom, and then your flowers are too short. So I'm going to put in these freesias first. And just got two of them. I didn't want to do too many. And the next flower I'm going to put in is the orchids. And I have got three stems. So I'm going to put them in, spacing them evenly around the bowl. Now I'll spread and arrange the flowers when I'm done with positioning every flower that's in there. Now I'm ready to do the smaller ones. And I've got just enough to put one in between and then I'm gonna put a couple just a little bit closer to the freesia. So I'm gonna put one here, in between each orchid that I've already put in. Okay, and I have got three left. So I'm gonna do that same thing. I wanna get them closer uh, to the freesia so that these, we don't want just the orchids here and just the tall plants in the middle. I wanna have something closer. So I've got three of those. I'm gonna space them evenly around the freesias that are in the middle. So now I'm just gonna add the orchid leaves, kind of filling up the bottom. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the moss, but before I do that, I really want to kind of arrange the flower, spin it around and see if it looks like I want it to look. And with orchids, when you first get them, they might be some automatically kind of droop like that. And if they don't, do it yourself. But the key is to not just bend it in the middle, you want to arch it. So you're pulling your hand all the way across and the stem and then arching it. So I'm gonna add the moss next, but you might have some gaps in there. So instead of using expensive moss to fill it in, what I'll do is get some tissue paper 
and push that down in the gap all the way around and that way I can set that moss right on top and it won't show. The tissue paper will not show. I like to use real dried moss rather than Spanish moss. First of all, because it gives the illusion that this flower arrangement could be real. But you will have to replace your moss about once a year because it does tend to get a lot drier and turns brown. However, I think it's stunning. So I use the larger pieces of moss to go around the outside and then on the inside I'll break up into smaller pieces and just stick them in between the stems. So even if you're gonna make a smaller arrangement, you just apply the same principles. Make sure you've got the height of the middle flowers right and spread your orchids out evenly. And I tend to like to use three different flowers in an arrangement. If you're not already following me on Instagram, come follow me. We have a lot of fun. We do a lot of behind the scenes, a little more casual in stories. I'd love for you to come hang out with me. I'm at Jennifer Decorates on Instagram. Guys, thank you so much for watching and everybody stay safe and stay well.